My name is Brian Hinckley. I am the Sports Turf Manager here at Liberty University. I've worked here for the last 22 years. For the last 17 of those years, I've been uh, solely focused on the athletic fields and their maintenance. The biggest thing I would say is you don't want to do too much. Uh, most of the work to have a healthy lawn this time of the year happens really in the fall of the year before. Any fertilizing or, or killing of the weeds and things like that you need to be done long before now. Uh, when the grass when it gets you know, hot and dry, there's not a whole lot you could do that's gonna that do good for it. it. It do some more damage than good. The principle that we go by uh, for mowing grass is based on what we call the one-third rule. So if you're cutting your grass at, say, four inches, you want to mow it before it gets to six inches. If you let it get taller than that, you're going to do more damage um, you know, to the grass than, than what's good for it. Uh, for example, the field that we're on, we mow it at a half inch, so uh, we mow it before we get to three quarters. So that, that's your frequency of cut is before you just follow that one-third th rule. The biggest thing I would say as far as that goes would be keeping your mower blades sharp. Uh, that's, that's one thing that a lot of people miss on. Sharp blades will, will keep your grass much healthier than dull blades. Dull blades rip and tear at the grass instead of cutting it cleanly, which can leave it susceptible to disease and insects and other uh, pressures. So what the principle we go by is we, we call it deep and infrequent watering. If you're watering daily on a regular basis, you're going to uh, most likely cause some disease issues or other problems. Um, you want to have a good deep root base and watering uh, in a manner that lets that water go deep into your soil is, is what's best for it. 